faithful Noah and his family. Jehovah gave Noah special instructions on how to build a life-saving ark. What would it look like? It would look like a huge oblong box. It would be long and narrow, with a flat bottom and square ends. They had to clear a large area in order to measure out the ground plan for this huge ark. Can you imagine how big it would be? It would be over 400 feet long, much longer than a football field, about 70 feet wide, and as high as a four-story house. Noah probably built it near a forest where wood was easy to get. But how would Noah and his family, only eight persons, build such a massive vessel? It was something they had never done before. Besides doing this work, they had another important task to do. They had to warn their neighbors about the coming flood. Can you imagine how those people might have reacted to their preaching? <laughs> they probably said, you fools! Why are you building this huge box here? You're wasting your time. Our world is not going to end. They ignored Noah's warning and just continued in their normal daily routine. But Noah listened to God, not to his neighbors. It took him and his family a long time to build the ark. For over 40 years, they obediently worked hard at it. They had made it waterproof. For light and fresh air, they had put a window opening all around. They also made a large door in its side. In preparation for their long stay in the ark, Noah and his family had to prepare fruits, grains and other foods. They had to store water to sustain themselves and many kinds of animals and birds. But they were not yet finished. They now had to face another challenge, an urgent job. Genesis chapter seven tells us that Noah and his family started to lead all the different kinds of animals into the ark. They only had a short time to do it. Why? Because God said, in just seven days more, I am making it rain upon the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. The whole earth will be flooded and I will wipe out every breathing thing. Therefore, take into the ark 
seven each of the clean animals to be used in my worship. Of the other kinds, take two each. Jehovah must have helped Noah to direct the many kinds of animals that had to be led into the ark. None were left out.